All right, I'll start off with any questions uh, you may have. Just, just talk to some of your defensive guys and talk about their offense. And it's not just personnel, but how they are so versed a lot of different formations. Right. And it's tough to, to get a read from. And you, with so many young guys, you know, how much? Well, they, they challenge you. They challenge you schematically, and they challenge you talent-wise. And they do a great job. It all starts with the quarterback. Uh, dual threat, can make all the throws, can run. Different personnel groupings, 21, 11 personnel. And, uh, you know, they can play physical and run the football, which that's what they want to do. But also, they can make it a perimeter game as well. So it, it's uh, it's very challenging in and of itself. And then you add tempo to it and getting lined up and playing fast. So, again, uh, very, very explosive offense. Coach Bowman Thomas worked with the first team pretty much from the day he got here. Went through camp, he kind of gets bumped down the second team. How do you think he handled that? Oh, he's no, he's done a great job, and uh, again, he's a true freshman. And I think that's the thing that gets lost in this is he's playing a position as a true freshman that really is a developmental position. You know, you develop your line over years in the weight room, uh, in the mental toughness and the physical toughness aspect of it, and he's still, you know, a true freshman. And so he continues to develop, and he's one of those individuals that I said will continue to grow and develop at their own pace. But I see that pace starting to accelerate now a little bit and he's going to continue to get better and we're going to need him now. We're going to rely on him a lot. Which obviously you haven't seen any of the film yet for today's practice, but with a couple of those tweaks up front, did you like what you saw from practice? Yeah, you know, again, we're moving individuals around just trying to find the best five that can play winning football for us and uh, protect the quarterback and run the football. And so I'll go back, I'll watch the video, but uh, I like the group, I like their work ethic. Uh, we just have to be tougher. You know, we have to be tougher mentally, we have to be tougher physically, and some of that's developed over time with everything that you do. But uh, I said it, and we'll, and we'll continue to be work in progress from now all the way to the end of the season. How many, guys, how many guys, with this thing in my conference, how many guys can you take to the game on Saturday? And how, 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 how tough are some of those decisions going to be to make? Well, we'll take the individuals who, you know, are going to help us win a football game and help us compete at a very high level. And so, you know, right now uh, the travel squad could be 70, could be 72. Uh, I do I do know this for a fact is over half will be making their first road trip ever at the University of Tennessee. So, uh, again, they have to learn what it takes to go on the road and compete at a high level and play winning football and block out all the clutter and distractions and the road focus that it takes to go on on the road. You've played a couple, you've mentioned a couple of good quarterbacks already. How can that help you carry it for you to face Saturday, or is this guy just kind of a well, I think each quarterback has their own different skill set and different skill level. Obviously, he's very, very talented. Uh, he's a pure passer. He can throw the football. He can break contain, and he can run the football. And they have designed quarterback runs as well. And he's a good stature back there as well. So, again, he's a complete football player. Do you want to have a, like an offensive line settled by the end of this week, or do you you, know, do you see yourself mixing up in game on Saturday? You know, what's again, I, I don't like the move individuals around. Uh, I like to settle in on one unit, but again, uh, every situation is different. It's dictated by different circumstances. So again, I'd like to settle in on the five and go with it, try to get into a rhythm and a routine with it. But again, every individual has a responsibility to play their best football, to prepare to play their best football. And all it is is really one-on-one -on -one matchups. And so much goes into playing winning football in the offensive line position, the communication aspect of it, all five working together together but really Dustin I would really like to settle in on a five if we could. We put a lot of emphasis early on today on like special teams particularly Con. Are you seeing some progress there that you see whether it's operations? Yeah. Or I do see progress and we work every unit in practice every every day and that's why sometimes it's disappointing in terms of the amount of investment that we put in the special teams game you expect that kind of return as well and again we're going to be challenged they have talented athletes across the board and all their special teams and again special teams comes down to one-on-one -on -one matchups that's what it is it's me against the guy in front of me the best player win the best technique the me the best mentality win like a freshman when he played on Saturday. He looked like he showed a little bit more maturity than maybe a normal freshman. 
Well, TK has had a level of maturity ever since he arrived. Again, he's going through the experiences of playing collegiate football for the first time. So, yeah, there's a lot of growing pains, but he's been very, very mature. He's been one of those true freshmen that he's been a little bit different in the way he handles himself. He's extremely cerebral. He's very bright. He has great football intelligence, great instincts, and I think that really helps him. They have a linebacker number 45, I think a former walk-on now under the attack just for what you see them on film. Yeah. What stands Very active. You know, we always talk about in linebacker speed, toughness, and instincts, STI, and he has that. He has a nose for the football and very, very tough and very physical. But as you've broken down the film of the first couple of games, what have you gotten out of Kirk Wichita so far? What have you liked and maybe what do you want to see him through there? Well, I think Kurt needs to continue to develop his overall technique and fundamentals. You can still see the the time that he spent off, you know, from his stance, his start, and understanding that it's split seconds that you're gaining, you know, a step here or a step to the left, a step to the right, not replacing the hand with the foot. You know, those are inches, and those mean the difference between winning the play and impacting the play and not impacting the play. But uh, I see he brings another level of, of toughness, uh, the ability to get to the football. But again, it's improving his overall technique, his stamina, a uh, play in, play in, and play out. But uh, again, he'll continue to get better and better with the amount of game repetitions as well. Butch, who won the competition between yourself and Coach D in practice? Well, you know the answer. It's always uh, going to be one-sided a little bit. But, uh, again, that's just something for fun, but competing with our players. And our players have to understand that every time they step on the football field, it's an opportunity to improve your craft and improve your skill set. And it's all about game level, game speed repetition. So we'll continue to compete throughout the course of this week and every week into the bye week. But, uh, you know, you split players up and you split sides and, you know, you take that personal because it's all about competing to be the best that you can be. No. You know, we, we've now to a little bit of a point where we have some depth and uh, obviously it's it's putting the plays in the hands of the players that they can handle and that they can do and uh, you know we think plays not players so again some we may have some little wrinkles for some different players here or there but the overall philosophy won't change much but you adapt and adjust to the players who are on the field but there'll be some subtle changes but not much what tight end is that Well, today was the first day of it, but uh, we're going to rely on Daniel Helm. He's going to have a tremendous opportunity. Uh, Brendan Downs, uh, Alex Ellis, you know, those three individuals will really, uh, it'll be a tight end group by committee, which it, it's been pretty much all year, and the repetitions have been, you know, pretty much uh, the same. You know, I think Brendan Downs had 20-some-odd reps. Ethan Wolf had uh, low 30s, and then uh, Daniel Helm had the mid-20s. But uh, I think Daniel Helms' role will continue to be increased. All right, thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thanks,